welcome to For the Love and Knitting podcast. Uh, this is now episode four. Um, I'm Serena. Um, basically, just a fun podcast talking about all things knitting. Um, I knit, very, very passionate about it. So I basically just share things I'm working on, things I've finished, um, places that I buy yarn from. Uh, yeah, so I'm in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. Um, so a lot of the places I talk about are in Canada. Um, and that's just because right now I can afford things in Canada. <laughs> I love the yarn in the States that I'm finding, but with the way that our dollar is, it's just a little difficult. But So if you are um, new to watching, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, yeah, I am back upstairs in my living room <laughs> videotaping because... I tried in my last podcast, um, I had just recently gotten a new room set up for all my yarn stuff, um, so I was really excited to do them down there, but the lighting was terrible, and <laughs> I look back on that video and I'm like, why did I even like post that video? So yeah, not, not good lighting, so until I figure out the lighting down there better, um, I guess I'll just be doing them in the living room, and that's okay. It's a little better because my one little dog, Oliver, uh, you might be able to see the tip of his ear here, is attached to my hip. And so when I do these, he loves to lay beside me. And when I was doing it downstairs, I was on a chair and he couldn't sit on me because if I put him on my lap, he'd be right in the, like his face would be in the camera. So he had to lay on the floor and I don't think he totally loved that. So he's happy that we're back on the couch doing this. Um, another new thing, I have been playing around a little bit with technology. I have said before that I'm not the greatest with technology, but I don't mind trying to like mess around with it. So um, just trying to do a little bit more with my videos and um, I am going to try to add an intro. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna try because We'll see if it works um, before I get this uploaded. So, eh, we'll see. I'm having fun with it. <laughs> I think I have a little too much time on my hands. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off talking about the hat that I'm wearing. Um, I talked about this in my last podcast, but again, my lighting was terrible. <laughs> so I just thought I'd wear it again. Plus, hey, I was having a bit of a bad hair day, so it's kind of nice you can just put a hat on. <laughs> It looks great. So again, oh, this is so much better for lighting. So this too was the patterns called Blurry Flurry from Cozy Up Knits. Um, and they had actually done it for Ginger Snap Yarn had brought out a new pixel yarn. So they had made the pattern for that. Um, but I just decided to use this yarn that I had. So this color is called Prairie Rain and it's from Allison Barnes Yarn uh, and it's just her 100% superwash merino so that's what I decided to use for it and then the pom-pom um, came from Rose and Pearl and again I did talk about all this on my last one but I just thought I'd bring it up because seriously the lighting is so much better up here <laughs> so yeah, so I had that done um, for a little bit, and then I did not have this done for the last podcast, um, and it's been a couple weeks, because I wanted to have a little bit more to talk about. So I had mentioned that I wanted to do a hat for my husband, and I actually did get one done. So this is it. Just kind of a simple beanie, I guess. Um, it is called the Boyfriend Beanie. I will show. <laughs> yeah, so that's it um, from Expression Fiber Arts. So it was just one that I found on Ravelry um, that he, I had a few that I had found and he picked this one out. So yeah, and then the yarn that I used with this, it is so soft and squishy. I'm a little bit jealous actually. Um, kind of wanted to keep it for myself, but I didn't. I did give it to him. Uh, so this yarn is 
from an amazing lady in Alberta. Um, she, yeah, I don't know. Her yarn speaks to me so much. I literally have to control myself buying yarn from her because all her yarn is just, her colors blow me away. And so that is her logo, Camp Fiber Yarns. Um, and so this colorway, this specific colorway is called Copper Oxide. And this base was on her classic Merino DK, 100% um, superwash. So, but I like, it's so soft, like even before washing or anything, it was just, it's, I love it. <laughs> so, so he's pretty lucky. He got a pretty good hat. Um, I do have some of this same color in fingering weight from her too, that I was actually going to do his hat holding it double. Um, and then I kind of got lazy. I was like, no, I'm just going to order some more. And then I think what I might do is do mittens for him to match this uh, in the fingering weight from her. So, yeah, so super happy with it. He loves it. Um, yeah, it's a super stretchy pattern. So, and then you knit it longer so that you can fold the brim. But, like, look at that color. And my husband's an electrician, so I think he mostly picked this color because of the name, Copper Oxide, because he works with copper wires and all that, and yeah. So, that is uh, the only other thing I have done since my last podcast. <sighs> yeah, and the other things I've been working on, I can't show because they're Christmas presents. Um, the person, if they watch, they know it's socks, <laughs> so, but they don't know what color. Um, so I've just kind of been like slowly going through that. Um, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with it. Uh, I have gotten one sock done on each pair. So I just have the second sock for each pair to do now. Um, yeah, I'm learning a lot about myself with knitting. And one of the things is I like, I'm a pretty driven person so if there's something I want to do or get done I get it done but if it's something I have to do because like I have to do it and there's like a timeline on it I struggle <laughs> at least that's what I'm learning um yeah yeah Christmas gifts difficult it might be something that I have to do like throughout the year and keep in mind because this whole having to have these done by Christmas, I would think that it would make me like get it done soon, but I'm struggling. I don't know. I have a lot of things that I want to cast on like a lot and I'm just trying to be good and not cast anything else on until I get these Christmas gifts done because I really don't want to be like <laughs> the week before Christmas trying to get these done. So I'm trying to be smart about it, but, but yeah, it is like, yeah, it's teaching me a lot about myself. So let me know. What have you learned about yourself through knitting <laughs> or crocheting or any type of crafting? It's, yeah, quite interesting once you get into it. But it's okay. So last time, funny thing, I had wanted to show some yarn that was coming in the mail, but it hadn't come yet. Um, so I couldn't show up my last podcast. Well, after I did that podcast and put it up on YouTube, um, I went and checked the mail and it was there. <laughs> so that's okay though. It actually kind of ties in um, with my husband's hat because it's from the same person. So like I said, I have a problem with camp fiber yarns. I buy a lot from there. <laughs> so, but this color, um, the reason why I wanted to show it last week is because it was her October of um, colorway of the month. So I thought it was kind of fitting for Halloween, but that's okay. It's beautiful either way, and I'm just going to show it now. I had to reskein this, so don't laugh. <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, but she vacuum packages her yarn. So, um, and I just wasn't ready yet to put it into a cake. Because I'm still thinking of what I want to do with this. So I decided to just 
yeah, kind of rescan it. I was actually, I'm a little impressed with it. It's not too bad, but look at those colors. So for this year, she's been doing um, colors of the month and she was doing them like pictures of space. And so this one was actually a picture of like Pluto, but it was just amazing. Like if you go onto Instagram um, and follow her Camp Fiber Yarns, she kind of shows what her inspiration pictures are. The picture of this was beautiful and she showed it before um, she had got the yarn dyed and I was already excited um, for how it was going to turn out. So yeah, like I... And then as soon as I seen the yarn, I knew I had to buy it. And yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just, it's beautiful. So this one is called Distant. And it's her Vibrant 80-20 base. Um, just a fingering. So 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. Um, but it is super. It's, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. The speckles in it. I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm starting to find I'm just now buying yarn because it's beautiful and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it will come to me one day and I know it will. Um, but I just had to have this in my stash of yarn and one day the right thing will just pop out at me. But absolutely beautiful. So I don't know if you can get this one anymore because it was her... October color of the month but you can always check it out either way go check her out because her yarn colors are amazing amazing um, so then I also from her um, bought this set so I I love the slub yarn love it I think it's cool I don't know why but she had some colors out and I bought um, these three colors that I'm planning to do a shawl with them. And they are rolled up into cakes because I, uh, they come vacuum packaged and I actually don't mind rolling up cakes when they work. And actually I found this slub yarn worked really well um, and my cakes turned out like pretty good. So yeah. But, so yeah, these are the ones that I got. I think they're going to look super good together in a shawl. I got really excited about it. But I don't know. Like, I really don't know what it is about this yarn. But I just, I love it. That slub. Oh, I don't know. It's cool. I think I like texture. <laughs> I think I like texture in yarn. Because I seem to just, yeah, be drawn to it. So, um, so she calls it pebble fingering, um, instead of slub yarn and it's a 90% superwash merino and 10% nylon. So this color, find my face, is called poolside. Like, look at those beautiful tones in there. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um... This one's called Italian Plum. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then this one, and this was kind of the one that I fell in love with. Um, but then after I bought it, I was like, well, I want to do something really cool with it. Um, and then I came across, you know, some shawl ideas. And then she had these other two colors that just went perfect with it. So... This one's called Midnight Hotel. And yeah, I just, I literally could buy all the slub yarn, all of it. It's just cool. I'm interested to see what it's like to work with and knit up. Um, because yeah, it's uh, definitely different, different. So yeah, super excited to do that. See, this is what I mean. I have all these really exciting things <laughs> that I want to knit and cast on. And I'm trying to be really good and not cast anything on right now. It's really tough. Really tough. 
when you have beautiful yarn like this that you just want to use. So, so yeah, go check her out. Camp Fiber Yarns. I will link her website at the bottom. Um, yeah, super, super wonderful. She's, uh, yeah, all these indie dyers that I've been kind of um, chatting with on Instagram and finding, they're just, they're just amazing, so. Um, another fun thing that I got in the mail from the last podcast. I'm really excited. <laughs> I bought more yarn from Over the Moon Yarn, and it's really exciting because it comes with their new logo. So I know when I showed them last time, I talked about them having a new logo because the stuff I had had their old stuff on it. So now you can actually see their new logo. And it's so cute. <laughs> I'm really excited about this yarn because this is on their Asteroid Aran base. And I have not tried it yet, but I just keep hearing amazing things about it. So, um, and I haven't used Aran before. So, but it's super soft feeling. Like, I'm really excited. So my plan for this is a hat, another hat. Um, I don't know if I've totally decided on what pattern yet, but I've kind of just gone through Ravelry, Ravelry and favorited um, some that I liked. So we'll see. Um, try it out. And yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be nice and soft and squishy. And this, oh, the color is called Binary. So, and yeah, it's just like beautiful purples and blues and kind of pink and greens. Oh yeah. They come up with some really cool colors. Yeah. Oh, it's just so soft and squishy. Oh, yeah. I was totally meant to knit and have all this yarn. <laughs> ah. Um, okay. I'm going to show, I'm going to leave something for the last, but, uh, so I recently just got another, um, knitting bag. Did I need another one right now? Probably not, but I seen the fabric and I just, like I had to. So I've kind of mentioned before that I'm kind of ad like addicted to space things. And then I also love dinosaurs and all this and that. So, um, it's dinosaur fabric <laughs> and I had to have it. Oh, okay. Like it's so cool. So any like long neck dinosaur is my favorite. But so this is from um, Ellie B Tree. <laughs> Hi Finn. <laughs> this is my Irish Wolfhound Finn again. <laughs> you just had to come say hello. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> He's quite a sweetheart. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, this is from Ellie B Tree. Um, and she is from Calgary, Alberta. So super wonderful bag. The material is like, I don't know. It's really cool feeling. Um, and then like, look at the tabs. They're so cool. Now I'm going to kind of open it and not show you what's in it. Cause it might be Christmas stuff, but let's see if I can push it down. So you can kind of see the inside. So it's got two pockets. Um, but this material is like slippery and I never really thought about it. So, um, she kind of custom made it for me cause I seen the material on her Instagram and instantly asked if I could have a bag made out of it. <laughs> um, so she asked me, do you want, you know, slippery material or not? And I didn't really think of it. Um, but it totally makes sense. She said, if you pull your string from the outside of your cake, uh, it, or ball it kind of moves around easier in the slippery uh, material so and yeah super like it the pockets inside are nice and big um, and it's a wireframe too so I love that the wireframes are so cool that it just holds it open and yeah so I'm super super happy with it again do I need another bag maybe not but but I have a lot of projects I want to cast on so I probably did need it. We're just going to go with that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So I slightly mentioned 
this next thing I'm going to show um, in one of my other podcasts because I was kind of talking about how I usually go for more uh, earthy tone colors. I don't usually do super bright stuff. I guess like these are kind of bright, but I'm not usually like a, a neon bright person, I guess. So yellows and um, bright oranges and lime greens and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just, I kind of like more the the earthy tones. Like this is right up my alley. That is like earthy tones that I love. So um, it's kind of funny that I bought this yarn. Cozy Up Knits is doing their, I think, is it their fourth uh, mystery knit along that's coming up January 1st. Um, so of course I, I haven't done um, one of their mystery knit alongs because this is kind of the first year that I've really gotten into knitting crazily like I have been. Um, and I've never done a mystery knit along. So when they said that they were going to do another one, um, I instantly like jumped on the bandwagon for that and bought yarn for it. So, um, there's a place in Grand Prairie <laughs> squeaking in the background. Thanks to Finn. Clearly he is not tired right now. <laughs> um, so in Grand Prairie where like all these amazing people are now that I don't live there. Uh, <laughs> but so her name's Tara and she has that yarn habit and she dyes yarn. So she was kind of the first maker that um, came out and said, I have yarn for this make along. So I bought it from her uh, and it was nice. I got to meet her um, in person at the Prairie Fiber Festival in Lacombe that happened back in September. Um, and then it was kind of a funny small world that I realized my mom knew though. Because <laughs> my mom still lives in Grand Prairie. Um, but yeah, so, she is the one that has these yarn, so that's her, that yarn habit, Tara. Uh, and you can find her on Instagram, um, her, you can buy her yarn off Etsy. And uh, yeah, so she has these kits and I'm really actually excited about this one. Like it's a little out of my normal of what I get, the color of yarn that I get, uh, but I'm super excited for it, so. This is the color that I went with. I'm getting a glare. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so this is um, her Squishy DK Weight. These two, they're 100% Superwash Merino. Um, they're called Spice of Life. And then the middle one is her Mohair Lace. So 70% uh, Kid Mohair, 30% Silk. Um, and it's called Everest. So I feel like even with my better lighting, it still doesn't do justice for this color in person. Um, so I just got this in the mail last week, I think it was. Um, and I just fell in love with it even more seeing it in person. Like it's, it's just, it's cool. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so check her out because She's got some other um, color kits that she's made up. And uh, I think there's some other places too now that have started doing up kits for it, but it starts January 1st, their mystery knit along. So definitely um, get your kit the sooner the better, uh, especially with Christmas coming, who knows what the post office is gonna be like. So yeah, super excited. I'm, I've been, now that I'm, more into the knitting community and stuff um, and following different things on Instagram. I've been seeing different uh, mystery knit alongs that have happened that I wasn't a part of. So it's been really cool to watch them kind of play out. Um, and it's gotten me really, really, really excited for this mystery knit along. Uh, I think it'll be a really good way to bring in the new year. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So, and she's got other great stuff. Um, on her website so she also does the sweaters that say knitter and crocheter and stuff and one of those sweaters was on my Christmas list <laughs> so we'll see because they're really cool I really like them they're just like the crew neck sweaters um, but they're super soft and of course I want to shout out to the world that I'm a knitter I think that's great 
Um, but something else that I bought from them when I seen them at the Prairie Fiber Festival, and I just love it. It makes my day, and it makes drinking tea so much better. <laughs> it says Yarn Geek. It was actually really hard to pick which mug to get from them because, of the, yeah, they had so many that were great. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just, I do feel like I'm a nerd some days. So when I seen the, the ball of yarn with the glasses on, I'm like, mm -hmm, yep, that's for me. So, yeah, so definitely go and check her out on Etsy. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I just, the more and more people I'm finding and, uh, buying from and creating connections with it's just been awesome um, it's definitely kept me sane through the times of the world right now so yeah so I'm really excited uh, I'm trying to think here I probably won't do another podcast until I get my Christmas knits done <laughs> so I can actually like show what I want to work on next um, I have some things coming in the mail too that I'll show at that podcast. Um, I bet some of you guys are getting excited about Christmas Advents. If you got any of those from anyone, um, I was able to snag one. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just so like grateful for it. Um, but I'll go more into that in the next podcast once I actually have it and can maybe talk about it a little bit more. I am going. Well, I would like to just do like open it the day that you're supposed to. I know a lot of people just open them all as soon as they get them. So we'll see, <laughs> but yeah, time's going by fast. So it's really not going to be that long to wait anyways, to open them and I think it'll be good. Uh, yeah, I think that's all that I have. It's kind of another quick podcast, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I waited two weeks because I wanted to make sure I had a little bit more to talk about, especially I was waiting for, for this to come in mostly because I knew I wanted to talk about that now um, and get the word out to go get your kits if you want to join along. I think it's going to be super fun. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. I'm glad that my lighting was a lot better. <laughs> I think that you were able to see the yarn colors a lot better. Um, yeah, and like I said... Uh, I can't really say when the next podcast is going to be, but maybe within the next couple weeks, I just really need to sit down and get those Christmas knits done and stop procrastinating. It will happen. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope um, you are all enjoying your knitting and, you know, especially since our weather's getting colder, you can just get cozy and knit away. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.